Hey everybody, NBC5 weather forecaster Brigham Harris here. Let's get a quick look at this weekend weather as we make our way into this uh, lovely March weekend. We got a little bit of movement here off the coast of uh, southern Oregon there. We're seeing a little bit of precipitation in the southern part of the state in the northern part of California. You can see a whole lot of precipitation in most of the Pacific Northwest, but for the most part it's a big low pressure system out over uh, Portland and Seattle. Uh, really that area of the Pacific Northwest is going to be getting it the most. This high pressure system, however, is going to be coming into our area here in the next Next few days, which means a good amount of sunshine, good amount of clear skies coming our way. But first, let's talk about it with the pinpoint forecast right around. Uh, let's see. This is uh, today and this afternoon, pretty early this afternoon. As we make it into tonight, Friday evening, you'll see a good amount of uh, precipitation stacking up along the coast, but you'll see it does start to clear out a bit. It, it, it is pretty patchy into the night and into early Saturday morning, so there's still that chance of snow and rain showers depending on your elevations. That snow level is going to rise and drop from around 2500 to 3,000 feet, especially here in the Rogue Valley, maybe a little bit lower east of the Cascades and uh, obviously up in the Cascades. And as we take a look and we move a little bit farther forward into the weekend, we'll see it clear up, get nice and clear. Really, 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday is the last we're really going to see of this for the next few days, uh, a few hours, I should say, because more cloud cover is coming in. We will be having a really nice Sunday, though. It's going to be a, a beautiful, beautiful day. The sun is going to come out. There should not be a whole lot of uh, chance at all for any precipitation, but we still need to get through the next uh, 24, 36 hours or so. As it shows us the rainfall forecast here, mostly going to be amassing along Brookings and the coast there. You can see as the clock goes on, not a whole lot more rainfall to report. Maybe a little bit up there in Douglas County, but for the most part, the Rogue Valley does stay pretty dry. Same thing with the snowfall. You can see as we click forward, we'll see that time keeps on going, but not a whole lot of snowfall after, uh, let's say, Sunday early morning. Uh, it does stay pretty clear after around that 3, 4 o'clock a.m. Uh, time there. And as we move forward, also winds will calm down just a little bit. As you can see, as we get into the late hours of tonight, it'll start to calm down again. And then as the sun comes up right around 6, 7 a.m., we'll see a little bit more, a uh, little bit more movement in the air. And we'll see gusts up to 30, sometimes even 40 miles per hour, depending on where you are. It looks like Crater Lake is going to have uh, a good amount of fun when it comes to uh, wind here in the next uh, few hours. Now, along the coast today and tonight, we still, or excuse me, tonight and tomorrow, we still have that chance for some uh, thunderstorms tonight, but tomorrow it should start to clear up just a little bit in terms of thunderstorms. We still have that chance of some rain showers. Same chance of rain showers here in the West Valley is more of a 40% chance here in the next 20 uh, 24 hours, we'll see that 40% of uh, rain and snow. And again, that snow level is going to rise to 3,000 feet uh, tomorrow afternoon as after it dips down a little bit to around 2,500 feet tonight. Now tonight for the east of the Cascades, there is still that chance of snow and rainfall, um, but tomorrow mostly just snowfall as temperatures are going to dip a little bit. We'll see Crater Lake not even get above freezing tomorrow. It's going to be very cold up there. Rogue Valley 7 day forecast shows us good amount of sunshine. As you can see, right after Monday, Tuesday, it's going to be a pretty nice week. Temperature are going to get up in the 60s. We'll even see one uh, one area here see above 65 degrees, I believe. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Klamath Basin, don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Monday is really the only day for precipitation. There is still that chance tomorrow on Saturday because it is such a large area. There's that chance for some patchy cloud cover and the chance of snow showers uh, as the temperatures do start to dip there. You can see 25 is the low for tonight. Northern California, same thing. There is still that chance later on in the week. It kind of differs uh, depending on where you are in elevation, but you can see there's 65 degrees next Friday for the high. It's going to be a really nice warm week. We're going to see it start to warm up uh, close to those uh, spring temperatures, not like what we've been seeing lately. And last but not least, the coast here. Good amount of rainfall tomorrow and into uh, Monday, but Sunday is going to be a really nice week, followed by a few days of sunshine.